Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, just as promised, uh, Simplicity's new uh, winter holiday pattern collection dropped uh, earlier this week. And so it is in the queue for today's first impression Friday. I love when things work out in such an organized fashion. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to jump right in because as we know, these videos can be a little bit long, but we're starting out with Simplicity 9010 Mrs. Dress with length variation. All right, so it looks like we've got a elasticized waist, some kind of like baggy situation, long skirt. Let's see what other kind of photos we can get. Great color, that emerald green I'm telling you all about. And let's, let us not forget that Simplicity still has a very difficult uh, website to manage. So uh, bear with me, even though it's a little bit clunky in the beginning. Okay, so cool. So we've got this uh, surplus or wrap uh, back, which is really beautiful. This looks like a full grown on sleeve to me. So for those of you that participated in the sew along that I just did, this is pretty much the same thing, just worn backwards. So that makes me want to go in my closet and try on that dress backwards. Um, it does have this really beautiful back slit here. The length is um, a notable, the slim skirt. Um, other than that, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward and simple pattern. Let's see. Oh, here's a shorter sleeve, which is a nice option and a shorter length. So it looks like they're giving us three views, which I'm assuming a has like a closed up back. We'll look at the line drawings here in a second. And then B is what she's wearing. And then C has the shorter length and the shorter sleeves. I also want to know if this is for knits, just like the sew along was. And it can be. Okay, so it's designed for woven fabrics, crepe, crepe de chine, double georgette. But you can do it in more stable knits like Ponte. doesn't have hardly any stretch to it. Even stretch velvet can uh, has just very little stretch to it. So I guess, all right, fine. It's a woven version of the sew along dress that we just did. But honestly, that sew along dress is so roomy. Um, you could do that out of a woven as well. You'd be just fine. All right, so thread bias tape, I guess for the neckline. And then elastic for the waist. And then you need a button for view A to close it up in the back. And you can see that A is a closed back. B has an open back, and C might have like a little tie. I can't really tell, that illustration is so small. Um, here are your fabric requirements, and then finish garment measurements for the bust and for the hip, which is really nice. Thank you for doing that, especially because this is a slim skirt. Um, and it does look like, even though it's slim, this elasticized waist is, give, is allowing it to be very forgiving in the hip area um, because I fit into the middle of the size range where normally in like pencil skirts I'm like all the way over here somewhere um, okay so yeah so the, yeah there's a little tie keeping that closed which is nice for view C lots of great options here and trust me I can tell you from experience with the sew along dress this style of dress is very comfortable like I want to wear mine every day um, but people are starting to question <laughs> okay so off to it pretty good start it is sort of basic but I like all the options which is nice okay so now we've got another grown on sleeve. This has got to be knit. Uh, there are like zero seams. I don't even know if there are side seams to be honest with you. No seams. This has got to be a knit dress. Okay, great. 
length variations, sleeve variations. Here's another sleeve. Yeah, that's a sweater knit for sure. That's cute in a sweater knit. Uh, easy to sew. Yeah, I'd say so. Still can't tell what's going on. Let's go to the line drawings. Okay, so there is a center back seam. And I'm assuming side seams. Yeah, so that you can sew up the sleeve. So, wow. Okay, so three pattern pieces. That's amazing. It looks like you're going to get... Wow, this has got to have a ton of pattern tissue. Well, you'd get this and this would all be one. And then you'd have like cut here for view A and cut here for view B. And then I'm assuming that this and this are the same. And then D just has the cuff and C has the elastic. That's what I'm guessing. That's still, that's a lot. Um, put knit pullover dress in two lengths with sleeve variations. Size for stretch knits only, bamboo, jersey, ITY, modal, knit, rib knit. Yeah, very good. Okay, and then uh, fabric requirements. Here's your finished garment measurements for the bust and for the hip. See how this one's a little bit more close fitting? And I think that's because it's designed for knits. So they want it to be kind of hugging the body a little bit. Yeah, not my style, but man, it's going to be a breeze to sew, especially if you have a serger. Pull on slim dresses in two lengths with grown on sleeves. Choose between a straight gathered or cuff sleeve. Easy to sew, can be constructed using a serger, yeah. Yeah, you just zip that on through, and I'm pretty sure that the neckline is just a fold-over situation because I don't remember seeing any notions. Thread and some elastic for that one sleeve. So yeah, super simple. Great, and that was 9011. Ooh, okay, so this reminds me of a Cynthia Rowley dress that came out, gosh, maybe two or three years ago. And again, with that trappy silhouette that I commented on with the Vogue first impression winter holiday collection. This one actually has a neckline that I am obsessing over and ready to wear right now. And it's still utilizing the statement sleeve trend. Um, it comes in letter alphanumeric sizing. So that's interesting. 9012 Mrs. Dress or top and belt. All right, let's um, go to the bigger pictures. Let's make this a little bit brighter. That'll help us uh, see some of the details. Maybe a raglan sleeve. I'm, again, loving this little gathered neckline. Here it is with the belt. I don't know. I kind of like the, the wide but short silhouette. I think if you're going to belt it, I would want it to be a little bit longer. And then this sleeve trend is also so fun. I love that. Here it is in a drawing. Yeah, raglan sleeves. That's fun. Here it is as a top. Oh, and it's another Cynthia Rowley. That's so interesting to me. Who remembers that dress from a couple of years ago? I feel like it was like baby blue and had like white bow in the back or something. Anyways, this is very similar to that, but I actually like this one. I never bought that other Cynthia Rowley one, uh, but this one I adore. I uh, just adore this. Uh, cotton lawn, lightweight sateen, silky types. Silky types are going to fall much closer to the body. Uh, soft cotton types, soft linen. All of those other fabrics, the cottons, the sateen, the linen, are going to have a little bit more structure, so they're going to you know, pull away from the body like the sample does. All right, there's your fabric requirements. You need a lot for this much width, and because there's no other seam, uh, it is it will take up a lot of fabric. And then you just have your finished bust measurements, which honestly, that's all that really matters. Um, you could probably even sew a straight size if you normally have to grade. I wouldn't worry too much about grading. I mean, double check, of course, but... Uh, fin uh, finished, 
bust measurements. Oh, wow, it jumps by four inches each time. Yeah, honestly, golly, honestly, I don't know how you'd figure out what size to make because it's so roomy in the bust as well. I guess you just go off of the envelope. Well, that's risky. Yeah, I mean, technically I could make an extra small based on the bust measurement, but I'm never gonna do that. Hmm. Yeah, here are the sizes, 10 to 12, 14, 16, 16. So according to the body measurement chart, I'm more of a medium, which makes sense. So yeah, I would just go off of this and then when you get your pattern pieces, check the finished waist and the finished hip, which should be printed on the pattern pieces and just make sure that it's not super extreme. But yeah, there are, if you look at this, like let's just assume you have a 36 inch bust. That's, an 11, that's 11 inches of ease in the bust. That has a lot. Does she have that much? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm not really in love with all of this. Oh, man. I'm, I'm worried that this is cute, but people are going to have a lot of fit issues with the raglan sleeve and then all of the gathering situation and the fullness situation. I don't know if she has 11 inches through here. I'm thinking more like six. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Does this seem right, this um, fitting chart? 11 inches of ease, that's a lot. Right? Is that a lot? <laughs> Let's find out. We'll um, crowdsource the comment section. Cynthia Rowley, loose fitting mini dress or top with optional belt, neckline gathered to ruffle, stand up collar, raglan sleeves with tiered frills, lightweight wovens. Okay. Here's another similar design. I think this one's also going to have the raglan sleeves possibly and gathered situation at the neckline, gathered situation at the waistline, maybe a separate band, long sleeves. Yeah, this whole, I don't know, sort of Victorian, sort of nightgown silhouette is definitely having a moment here. Here's the back. Beautiful fit on her. Maxi dress length. There is the line drawing where you can see the neckline gathers. There's also a little slit here some waistline gathers, and I feel like this is a little bit above the natural waist and possibly curved, which is also nice. I think that adds a beautiful fit, very slimming. Here it is in a shorter length with a shorter sleeve. Another Cynthia Rowley, so you only get, I mean, technically two versions, but it's really just like a short sleeve and a short hem. Here is the envelope back, cotton lawn, double Georgette, silky types, soft weight linen types. Um, here's your notions. Here's your fabric requirement. I guess the bodice is lined. That's a nice. And then your finished bust measurement. So for comparison, this bust that's 36 inches only has, what is that? Well... This one says this one has seven and a half inches. So compared to 11, you know, again, though, it doesn't look super full to me. But maybe it is. Yeah, I would love you guys' thoughts on bust ease. I always thought that for like a fitted, like a fit and flare, it was like two and a half inches. So for something that's loose fitting, but not incredibly loose fitting, seven and a half, 11 inches seems like a lot to me. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay. Cynthia Rowley, empire line dresses in mini or maxi lengths. Bodice is gathered into narrow neckline with front slit. Sleeves have elastic cuffs suitable for lightweight woven fabrics. Yeah, it's a really pretty dress. I can see a lot of really beautiful versions. Oh, it's also not a rag one, like I had said before. It's a set-in sleeve. So I feel like I have dresses like this. This isn't really, you know, that new and different to me. But great transitional dress, that one. You could make it for spring. You could make it for fall, winter. All right, here is Simplicity 9014 Knit Tops with Variations. Okay. God, they find the youngest models, don't they? All right, so this looks to have some kind of like cowl uh, drop shoulder with a sleeve that's very long, loose, long dress. You know, they're styling with uh, tights and boots here. I don't particularly love a sweater dress. I mean, look at this, golly. That can't be how it was intended. Yeah, no slouchy, funky back <laughs> on any of these. I don't know what that's about. I guess her neckline was falling. Maybe this knit is too heavy. That's one of the reasons why it's really hard as a home sewist to like sort this all out. This is supposed to look like this, right? That's, that's not translating. The neckline is too big? I don't know. This whole like slouchy, drapey, I don't know. I'm sure it's comfortable, but it certainly doesn't look like the drawing. This is a different version. I can't really tell how it's different. Here's another one. I guess that's just contrast fabric. And then here's one that's short with no sleeves. Oh, A is longer than B, okay. Yeah, this neckline, something's not right with that. Size for stretch knit only, interlock jersey, ponte, stretch velvet, sweater knits, terry knit. Okay. Yeah, so this one has, I keep going back to this bust thing, it's just really on my mind. Um, this one has 12 inches of ease. And I mean, that looks a lot roomier than that baby doll dress, right? Okay. Um, you don't need a ton of fabric. Well, I mean, yeah, two yards for a dress, that makes sense. I don't know, if you had like, I don't know, the right perfect kind of fabric. I don't even know what to suggest. I, was, I would suggest a rib knit, but this just looks not great. And I don't know what's up with that neckline. It just looks sloppy to me. This one does. I'm sure this is all one piece. So you'd have to kind of futz with it a little bit. But then because it's a knit, it's wanting to pull down and stretch out. I just feel like Concept to execution, something went awry. It happens. Lots of sizes. At double X S to double XL. Loose fitting tunic or tops with cowl necklines, drop shoulders, loose sleeves. Easy to sew. Okay. All right. Now we've got a little coat. Simplicity 9015. Okay. Looks like a um, shawl collar with one little toggle, maybe some buttons through here, a belt, pretty long with a slit. Here's the back. I would prefer if this would have become a hood if you could have zipped it. I like those styles. This just looks... Um, What's that show about the midwives? Call the midwife, something like that. That reminds me of whatever time period that is. There it is in a shorter length. I just don't know what purpose this provides. 
Like it doesn't pull up to keep you warmer. Maybe the double layer around your shoulder keeps you warmer. I just don't know. Other than design and it looking different, what the point is. And to be honest, I don't love the way this looks in the back. It's cool in the front, but... And then here's one with a contrast inside. So you could do shirling or fur or something like that in there. Which, that's cool. I also like it unbelted, like they're showing here. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, just a couple different lengths. That's really it. So it's really just one pattern. Side seam pockets. All right, boiled wool, denim, corduroy, linen types, ponte, wool types. Oh, it's a double-faced fabric, such as suede-backed Sherpa. I didn't even know that existed. Well, I guess, leather and suede. They also have some, I want to say it's some kind of wool, but it's like a two-tone, almost like a, like a double knit or like a double gauze. It's like a doubled wool where it's like navy on one side and then like I don't know some other crazy like orange the complete opposite on the other side I remember seeing some I was in that mood I can't remember but yeah that's a really fun idea okay so one coat snap one button a lot of double fold bias tape I'm assuming that's because it's not lined, and they're going to instruct you on how to do Hong Kong seams on the inside. Also, kind of cool that it was designed that way. So, but then does that mean that this is just the wrong side of the fabric? No, it looks like there's a, it's stitched. There's a little facing there. Hmm. I don't know. Um, and then finished bust measurements. This one has nine and a half for reference. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be interested to go to the store and read through the instruction booklet on this just to see how it's constructed. It does seem fairly straightforward, fairly simple for a coat, which are all great qualities. Um, and like I said, I do like this version a lot, especially if you found that really cool fabric. You would be able to make something that people would be like, I can't believe you made that unlined wrap coat or jacket in two lengths all with oversized collar single button or toggle fastening easy to sew yeah that's cool all right next up we've got some asymmetrical skirt simplicity 9016 oh that's fun so some interesting gathering and this like little overlay sashi thing uh, asymmetrical hem. Here it is in the back. Looks like it has, I don't know if that's a facing or an itty bitty waistband or what. It does have an element of like circle skirt ishness to it. And I think that they were trying to pull off like wear this to a holiday event, you know, like this is like a dress up skirt or dress down, do you know what I mean? Like this tone on tone. Um, but this is reading more like ballerina, you know, um, leotard and little chiffon skirt. Maybe in a different color, I'm thinking. If it were black, would that matter? Or if the top were like sequins or something. The front is super interesting though. I'm guessing these are all different lengths. Oh, that's cute with a little belt. Even if you don't like the asymmetrical part, you could certainly chop that off of your sewing pattern and have all these cute little designs. So it looks like a little dart here that the stuff is sewn into and then kind of a princess seam here. What's this one? Same. I 
I don't know, guys. Am I here for maxi skirts? Let's look at the line drawings. And then the back has the one dart and then another princess seam here. Side zipper. And I'm assuming this thing goes into the side seam since I'm not seeing it on the back anywhere. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like dressy hippie. I I'm picturing like when the hippies transformed from like tie dye <laughs> and like caftans in the 60s, like what did the hippie, like the hippies in the 80s, like Goldie Hawn in some of those 80s movies, right? Or like the mom character in the 80s movies. That's what I'm, that's what this is giving me. That's what this is reminding me of. Okay, crepe, double georgette, silky types, soft cotton types, lightweight linen, lightweight denim, zipper, twill tape, and a D-ring. Are they trying to tell me that this is twill tape? This little belt is made from twill tape? I don't know. You could use leather strapping. You could use something way cooler than twill tape. All right, um, here's your fabric requirements and then your hip uh, finished garment measurements. I wish they would have included the waist here since it is sitting at the waist. I don't know. I like, I think I want to like this. We'll have to see how much I think about it after, <laughs> after I'm done looking at everything. A lot of times, too, at the end of the video, I'll just try and make note of the ones that I remember, like the ones that stuck out in my mind, and those are the ones that I'll usually add to my list. All right. Very good. Sizing comes in 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right. Here's a cool little top. This is Simplicity 9017, Mrs. Knit Tops, Pants, and Skirt. So a lot of bang for the buck. I love this top. This is fun. There's also some seam here. We'll see. Grown on sleeves, like a two-layer hem situation, and this fun little neckline. The pants, hard to tell, but cropped, sort of loose-fitting. And then styled with bronze Doc Martens. And then the back has the asymmetrical seam. So interesting. That's cool. Here it is, um, color blocked. That's also fun. So you can get an idea what the pattern pieces look like. This is like grown on. It's all cut in one piece. Here are the pants. They do have a waistband. Doesn't seem to be elasticized. <laughs> Maybe the back is. So it looks like we're getting away from that. But these, this looks like a, the perfect ponty pant pattern. And then a little skirt, if it'll let me. Skirt, there we go. Simple, simple skirt. Here are the line drawings for the pants, yeah. Nothing's elasticized and they're pull on. Oh, these are going to be good Ponty pants. I had a pair of Ponty pants. I've had a couple actually. And they're very comfortable. But they look dressy and they always, like they never pill. They always look pressed. They never wrinkle. They're warm-ish. Ponty pants are good. All right. So. Size for stretch knits only, jersey, ponty, rib knit, stretch velvet. A and B is also in sweater knits. Um, thread, elastic. Oh, so there is elastic in the waistband, one and a half inch wide, but it's not like pulling the waistband in. It's just kind of, I think, pretty much holding it up and giving you room to pull it on. All right, here's your fabric. And then they give you bust and hip measurements. Finished garment measurements, I mean. 
Very good. The sizing is numbers, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Coordinating top pants and short skirt. Pull on top has grown on sleeves and slanted neckline. Pants and skirt are pull on with elastic waist, all designed for stretch. Yeah, this is a good one. I want to make those pants. I want to make that top. And why not? I'll make the skirt too. Just looks very comfortable, but cool and chic still. Okay, here is Simplicity 9018, Mrs. Pants, knit vest, dress, or top. So, I'm assuming she's wearing the dress, which has a little mock turtleneck. Then this thing is the top, maybe the vest, overlay. That's interesting. It's weird to me that... They use such young models, but the designs are a little bit older. Like, that's a mature outfit. You know what I mean? All right. There's the back view. Here's the dress. Very simple, straightforward. Uh, set in sleeve, no seams. Sort of figure skimming with a slit. Here's the top, which is undoubtedly a great basic to have in your wardrobe, a little mock turtleneck top. Here's the vest. I don't hate the concept. I just don't know if it's executed very well. Maybe the length of it is what's throwing me off. Maybe the fact that I know that this little dumahick here is incredibly difficult to sew. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm like no and then our favorite elasticized pant I just don't know I just don't know and I wish that they gave us a picture of her in the dress without the thing so we could get a good look at this like what this looks like on the body Obviously, you could also shorten this too. I just don't know if this is giving me enough to jump on buying the pattern. Oh, look at that. That's the, um, that's how the vest is cut. Yeah, I don't know. I want to like it. I do. But... Hmm. And it's not the fabric choice of the samples. I think they did a fine job on that. I think maybe it's just the length. But I can't I can't convince myself that a shorter length would look a lot better either. So that's why I'm so torn. Hmm. Maybe if people start making it, I can look at those and decide then. All right. So A, B, and C, the dress, the top, and the vest are designed for uh, jersey, velvet, sweater knits. D, the pants are for cotton types, jersey, linen types, silky types, stretch velvet, sweater knits. Sweater knit pants? Okay. If you say so. Alphanumeric sizing and finish bust and hip measurements. I also find it a little hard to believe. Oh, D's hip, not A. Okay, I was like, I don't see how D and A will have the same finished hip measurement. So... I mean, if you're interested in making the pants, this is helpful, but what if you want to make the dress? You know? All right. Any other info down here? Pull on slim fitting pant dress and top. V neck vest is pull on and loose fitting. Pants have elasticized waist. Easy to sew. Blah, blah. Okay. Next, we have. Misses and girls loungewear. We can take a look at this since they're they do include misses. Oh, there's gonna be lots of lots of family fun pajamas this year. This is Simplicity 9019, and the looks like there's just one size. It looks like a little fleece situation. <laughs> That's hot. 
Um, you've got your pants with like a little, maybe a drawstring. I don't know, hard to tell. This little mock turtleneck situation, a little, maybe something happening here. I see a kangaroo pocket. Her little glitter inset heart is really cute. There's the back. I can't tell what's going on there. It looks like a safety pen, to be honest. Mom doesn't have it. The backs don't have it. Weird. You think they safety pinned that and then forgot? So yeah, a little like, almost like a stand-up cowl neck. That's cute. I want to make the one with the heart, honestly. <laughs> Elasticized pants. There's other ones. And then there they are. Fleece, minky fleece, sweatshirt fleece, tearing it. Yep. B, applique and sequin. C, which is the pants, can be made in cotton types, flannel, or obviously any of this stuff. You have your girl sizes and your missus sizes. Finished garment measurements for the bust and the hip. And you really don't need a ton of fabric. So that's good. Cute. Pull on loungewear pants featuring an elastic waist. Loose fitting tops have funnel neckline. That's what that's called. Front kangaroo pocket or heart applique. I want the heart. All right, here's another pajama situation. Simplicity 9020, Mrs. Sleepwear knit tops, pants, shorts, and accessories. This is fun. So we've got a kind of wide neck, drop shoulder, tunic length sweater top thing, and pants. Here's the back. The pants have a little cuff on the bottom. Here's that top. Here it is, short sleeve. Here are the pants. Come on, pants. They have side seam pockets and a little patch pocket. It's like a lot of pockets for pajamas. I don't know what you need to be carrying with you to bed, but to each his own. <laughs> um, and then here's a little cuff. Here are the shorts. And then you get an eye mask. And look at this illustration, a scrunchie. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, see, there's the scrunchie. That's fun. How fun. Okay. So, jersey, interlock, stretch velvet. Wow, fancy pajamas. Uh... Twill tape. Oh, these are all for like the drawstring. Elastic also for the pants and shorts. What do they give? Oh, they do give finished hip measurements. All right. Not bad. Yep. 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 Yeah. They give you everything that. This looks pretty good. I like this pattern. This is cute. If I found the right cozy cotton jersey I think that I would definitely make this for myself I haven't made pajamas since my Carolyn pajamas I can't even tell you how long ago that was and look how easy peasy the top is and I mean not for nothing but you could wear that top out you know I'd probably make shorts and the long sleeve version though for uh, the weather here. It's cute though. All the sizes come in one. So if you wanted to make it as gifts, you could make, you just trace off the pattern and make it for everybody in your family. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's fun. Thoughtful with the accessories. And then here's the family robe. We'll go through this one quickly. Isn't that the cutest little family? 
So yeah, one robe, four sizes. Raglan sleeves, this looks like a really lush robe. Look how cute, oh my gosh. All right, here are the line drawings. So I'm assuming this is, you know, adult and children. Yeah, it's just got a, you know, notched collar, raglan sleeves, cuffs, a belt with belt carriers, patch pockets. It's a robe. And there's the back. This is actually a really nice robe pattern. It has, it's very traditional, has everything you need, nothing you don't. So that would be fun. And it looks like everything comes in one size too. That's also nice. Cozy, reversible, that's a fun detail. Wrap robes feature raglan sleeves, turn back cuffs, belt carriers, and a tie belt. Suitable for flannel, fleece, interlock, terry, or velour. Great. Oh my gosh, another robe, okay. Harry Potter robes. I, I, okay, I never got into Harry Potter. I never read the books. I never watched the movies. Please don't hate me. Uh, so I cannot speak to anything that's happening here. I don't know what the colors mean. I don't know what the little Dumahick means. I don't know any of that. So I'm sorry, but I'll just, these robes do have a hood. That's what makes them different than the last ones. They also have these really funny sleeves, which I'm assuming is like a wizardry type sleeve. <laughs> And I'm also guessing that they are not reversible. So, all right. Fun for the whole family though. And then these are all little kids patterns, which I don't make. Oh, look at these like tween patterns. Also bags. Wow, look, headbands. Let's go through these accessories. this website um yeah so it's like a little fold over either shoulder bag or a tote that's interesting oh they're all the same here let's look at this this is kind of cool I like this how the little thing is removable and then you just have like a you can hook it here for a tote bag hook it here for a crossbody or just carry it with a handle and then I wonder if these are provided or not provided, but yeah, you buy the flower appliques separately. That's interesting. And then also the handles. Yeah. It's a little complicated to get all the notions together for our bags, but it's still fun. The tassel thing here is kind of cool too. All of them are zip top. Interesting, okay. And then you've got this headband. I wonder if this will be added to the Cricut library since Simplicity and Cricut have a co-branded situation happening. This is one of those that just, it's just like a one long strip and then buttons or velcros or magnet closure or something is happening here and then look you get a little bonnet <laughs> and then a bucket hat and then this other kind of hat I don't know much about hats but there they are what do the hat notions look like just really interfacing Where a which one the headband? Oh, maybe it's sewn shut. That's got to be really easy. Great gift, especially if you have an embroidery machine. Yeah. Oh no, purchase flower appliques. That'd be fun. And then these <laughs> scarves. It's like the Chewbacca. 
Chewbacca with a silk bow. That looks like fun. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what's happening here, what the patterns actually look like, but this, why well, I was about to say, this will help, but not really. I don't know, they're kind of cool. I like this one a lot. Maybe not in that fabric, but certainly a good scrap buster, right? I mean, what do we have here? Three eighths, five eighths, three quarters. What's an upper, middle, and lower? I don't understand that. This one takes three eighths. Yeah, about half a yard for all of them. That's fun. You don't see a lot of other pattern companies doing accessories like that. Then you have your doll clothes, you have your dog coat. Um, Stuffed pillows, sensory blankets, countdown calendar and accessories, holiday decorating accessories. We're really getting away from clothes here, guys, but I don't know. This crafting stuff is tickling my fancy at the moment. This includes stockings, an advent calendar, and then is that supposed to be a paw print? Oh, oh, it is for a dog. Christmas tree countdown calendar with pockets for treats, dog or cat Christmas applique stockings, and a gift. This is for pets. <laughs> That's hysterical. Okay. An advent calendar for Sunny. What do you guys think? <laughs> I know what you're, you're already getting to the comment section as we speak. All right, and that's it. This is taking us to the Berta style fall that we've already done. So, but yeah, that was kind of short and sweet. I don't know. What did you guys think? Um, they're calling it the winter holiday, but I'm not getting a ton of holiday vibes. Mostly winter vibes. Mostly pretty basic stuff here. I do like this one a lot. And I do want to figure out what's going on with this one. Um, and then the shorter jacket version of this was okay. And the pajamas. That's really all that's standing out to me here at the end. But let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of surprised there's only three, six, nine, nine non-pajama sleepwear patterns. That's kind of surprising. It seems like not that much, right? Yep. Well, anyways, that's going to do it for the Simplicity first impression video on their uh, winter holiday collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I will have another video just like this one coming out. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.